Uh, good morning everybody, uh, Joanne Curry from the University of Western Sydney. Um, today you're sitting in our Parramatta Access Grid room and we use this room to transmit lectures across three campuses, namely Penrith and Campbelltown and of course here at Parramatta. Uh, in the centre screen here you're seeing the PowerPoint presentation with the lecture content. Um, I can change that and then each of the campuses sees uh, the material and I was practicing writing on the smart board so that's what the, uh, the uh, graphical uh, addition is there and so every time I change everybody else can see that now also over to the far, your far left these images are the other campuses so the first one is Penrith here the one on the far side is Campbelltown and then down the bottom I'm seeing my uh, Parramatta students as well um, over on this side, we're actually seeing the two smart boards at the other campuses. Now the smart boards are going to be used so that the students can actually uh, do an activity and write the results of their own campus activity on an individual uh, smart board. Uh, the smart board here at Parramatta is over on this wall and I can change that into writing mode by simply adjusting the computer uh, screen that I'm seeing and I can begin to write using the special spark board pen. So each of the other campuses can be given control of the smart board and they can then write their own contributions in that and every, every student at the other campus can see that and we can verbally make comment across the three campuses. Thanks a lot. Okay, so the way you change how those systems are designed is something known as patient journey modelling. Someone give me a guess, based on the three words used in that heading, what I might be about to talk about. Penrith? Go on, give me a stab in the dark. Just look at the title and think about what, what might be happening. Uh, just uh, how the patient actually moves through the healthcare. Excellent, 100%. If I had a minty, I'd throw it at you, but you probably wouldn't get it through the virtual stream. But anyway. It's exactly right. It's how patients move through the system. Has anyone ever been to a hospital that they can remember? Yep. How many times did they ask you what was wrong with you? Every time you saw a new doctor. Exactly. Geez, I could have been putting words in these students' mouth. Every time you see a new care provider, they ask you again. Tell me what you think, Campbelltown, the biggest difference is about manufacturing, business or computing and hospitals. Campbelltown? Make a stab at it. Think about a car manufacturing line and think about a hospital. What's different? The car manufacturer sells products and the hospital manages products. Okay. Would you consider yourself to be a product? <laughs> ah. ah, what do you consider yourself to be? Living thing. Ah, right. So, if this is my car manufacturing line, and this is me, I can sit here and I can change my state, i.e. I can fall over dead without anybody going near me. How much does that product change if nobody goes near them? It doesn't. So can you understand where the premise comes from that there's a different need here? Who do you think's the top of the pecking order in a hospital? Oh, chief of surgery. Chief of surgery, yep. Yeah. And do you think the chief of surgery thinks he's the top of the chain? Yes. Yeah, you see it on Grey's Anatomy all the time, don't you? This is also what's known as a swim lane diagram. Why do you think it's known as a swim lane diagram? Penrith. Hello, are you still there? Why do you think it's called a swim lane diagram? Because it's got multiple lanes. Yeah, excellent. Okay, these are not trick questions. Go with me. All right? Lines and multiple processes as well. Beg your pardon? And then you make decisions. Yes, that's exactly right. Well done. All right, so we'll rock on. So this now we've got a group activity, and we're going to run this through the smart boards, okay? So it's going to be a little bit funky, but it's going to work really well. What you've got to do is to assess the advantages and disadvantages of those three techniques 
as they would relate to your company conducting your new project. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to do is there's going to be a group from each campus which is going to write their responses for the tech for a particular technique onto the whiteboard and all the other campuses can see that and then you can contribute, comment and add in um, things that you have that they might not have. Okay, and each campus will do this. All right, first man on the moon. Your group? He's going to do it. <laughs> okay. Campbelltown and Penrith, can you see me writing on the board? Thank you. And so this is for... Value stream maps. This is the lean thinking one, value stream maps. Three advantages. <laughs> Fantastic. Do you want to explain what you mean by that? Um, they're basic ideas, so they're short to read, not expanded. It's easier for everyone. Okay, fantastic. Did everybody hear that? <laughs> okay, what does that mean? Well, that means more work can be done and it doesn't take that long compared to the other. Okay, so the comment here was that more work can be done because of the simplicity of the idea and therefore it takes less time to do the project, right? Alright, Penrith, do you have any more advantages that aren't there? <laughs> exactly the same. Pretty much. No new ones? Okay, Campbelltown, any advantages or disadvantages that you've got that are in addition to this? Unnecessary information is eliminated and each process is explained it could lead to one or two more processes or solutions. Okay, all right, that you like. So, unnecessary... Unnecessary information is eliminated. Any other disadvantages about the technique? Sometimes I don't know if this is hard to read, but the process has to change and everything is changed around as well. Okay, so it's hard to read? Yep. Any others? To develop the car manufacturing. Fantastic. Not that. Start. And end. We don't know where they move, do we? Excellent. That was really good, gang. Well done. Thank you very much for that. And thank you to the other campuses for your contribution. Penrith. Okay. Group that I can see who are sitting to the right, closest to the door. And your technique is swim lanes. We'll see it here. Yes, we can read that here. That's good. Okay, just hold there for the advantages, thank you. So can you describe those to me? It aims to achieve customer focus and satisfaction um, because it targets the customer and it uses new innovative ways to exceed the customer expectations. Right. Any comments here from Parramatta about that? When we look at the model, how do you relate that comment? It must be uh, separated from the model. Very good pickup. It means there's a second tool involved. All right, that was really brilliant work. I know that was a little bit um, different to what we normally do, and it involved quite a lot of technology, but everybody did fantastically well on that. So I thank you very, very much.